Are you ready? Time for the best discoveries of September of 2022. You know the drill. Let's go. Welcome back to another video. Max Forte here. If you love to make a great first impression, you know that smelling good is a great way to do that. So today we're going to talk about the five best discoveries I've made in 2022 of September, of course, the month of September. By the time we reach December, I will have shared 60 fragrances plus that I have discovered in 2022. And of course, I'm going to give you the best discoveries and the best releases of the year by the end of the year. So stay tuned for those videos. Of course, with this video, you guys know it, not necessarily brand new releases, but fragrances that I first encountered, that I first tried. It could be older, it could be vintage, it doesn't matter. If I tried for the first time and loved it, I'm gonna share with you in this series. So let's get into it. This is from the house of Maison Alhambra. This is Kismet for Men. Now this fragrance, ladies and gentlemen, I love the presentation and the scent itself. We are talking, the bottle looks really, really nice, heavy cap. Now the fragrance aroma is what I'm really, you know, concerned here and I wanna share with you. Now, if you look at the K here and the word Kismet, what does that remind you? Exactly. So this fragrance is if you took Straight to Heaven from Killian and you mix it with Tuxedo from Yves Saint Laurent. You know, I love those two fragrances. You combine them, you fuse them. That's what you're gonna get right here. Needless to say, this has got cacao, patchouli, spices, sandalwood, a beast of a fragrance, long lasting, powerful, and extremely well made. There's also a little note of cacao here in the heart, which gives us like nice patchouli cocoa vibe. This is great guys, I'm telling you, one of my favorite discoveries and finds, the bottle looks great. Quality bottle, quality juice. You walk into a room, you rock in this fragrance, you're definitely going to command attention. Now, the next one here is a great discovery I've made and I'm sure you guys have heard of this brand. This brand here is under the Hugo Boss umbrella, but it's the last known brand. It's called Baldessarini. And this one's called Nautic Spirit. Nothing to do with Nautica Voyage, I guarantee you. Love the little wood, um, you know, uh, label here, the wooden label. Uh, the bottle is beautiful, good quality as well. Heavy cap, beautiful glass. Sprayers are nice, they do the job. What I'm concerned here to share with you is the smell, the smell, the aroma, and the performance. This is quite nice because it has really cool green components of a fougere mixed in with some nice blue aquatic scents. You put them together, you get this fragrance, and get this. It's got a really nice note of passion fruit in the middle, which gives us nice, you know, fruity nuance to the fragrance. It's very easy to wear. It's one of those because of the price point and how nice this smells. You could actually wear this for a signature scent. You could wear this for the office, for work, for interviews. No matter what you choose to wear, this is one of those jack of all trades that I'm really wearing heavily uh, this month and I'm probably gonna be wearing for the next few months. And I can definitely see this making my top list for like work sense, professional sense, compliment sense, and spring, best spring uh, designers 2023, because you know, it's next year. But this stuff here, amazing guys. For the price, don't snooze on this. Not very easy to find. You can find this and the, the one I talked about before, Kismet at FragranceBuy.ca, which is a partner of this channel. Check it out. They have incredible stuff. Rare Tab is where I always tell you guys to check out for the rare gems, uh, you know, such as this one, and also discontinued stuff. And of course, new releases for the, the greatest and latest in the world of perfumery. But this stuff, Balserini Nautic Spirit, incredible stuff. Speaking of hidden gems, hard to find fragrances, off the beaten path, under the radar, whatever you wanna call it, this collection here is great. I'm, I know you know the brand, but most likely 90% of you or more that are watching this video never heard of this particular collection. It's the Cajon, which is a Parisian brand, private blend, so to speak, which was released, I wanna say, a couple years ago or, or last year, I think it was released in 2021. Cajon Paris 1904, they've been around for a long time. This one here, the remake and re-release of Tabac Blonde, which you know if you're a big fragrance buff, it's a vintage fragrance that was originally released in 1919. And if you go on eBay or places where you can find this continued fragrances, it fetches a very pretty penny. We're talking about a thousand dollars plus. So it was re-released to my loving because I was like, man, I always wanted to pick up. It's a vintage bottle, I have a decant of it. And it was so expensive. I never had the ability to pick it up. Now I can. Tabac Blanc Cajon right here. The re-release, of course, it's not gonna be exactly like the vintage formulation, but you're gonna get beautiful sprayer. It is absolutely heavenly. It's a, it's a fruity tobacco with floral nuances. Of course, a little bit of an animalistic feel. The Savat uh, Castorium note is definitely here. A little bit of that quote unquote, you know, urine vibe that we get, which is very animalistic. Not for everyone, but if you love vintage Sheepras with tobacco, you're going to fall in love with this. I love this stuff. In fact, I'm gonna pop on the screen here. The Cajon line, you know, highlights a few of the great ingredients like sandalwood, tobacco, rose. There's a whole bunch of stuff in this collection. Don't snooze on this collection, guys, because you never know, it might be axed one day. You can find this, again, at fragrancebuy.ca. An absolute stunning juice. Powerful, long-lasting, 
classy, old world goodness right here. By the way, if you don't wanna pick up these bottles, you're not sure about it, it's quite understandable, check a decan of these fragrances, live with them, try them skin. And you can do that with the best place in the, in the market, the best place in the game, perfume.com, thousands of fragrances to choose from, exactly the ones I'm talking about here, and thousands to choose from, indie, designer, and niche. Use my code, by the way, there's a special going on, 24 hour special, max 25, which will give you guys 25, unprecedented, never done, 25% off site-wide. It's from the time you're watching this video, 24 hours later, it's gonna be gone. So guys, take advantage, details below, you know I always hook you guys up. If, if there's discounts or savings or anything for you guys, always in the description, guys. Enjoy. Now, as you guys know, I tend to leave the best for last. It's kind of the case with my top discoveries of, of each month. These two fragrances blew my mind from first spray. It's one of those love at first sniff. This one here just kept growing on me. The more I wore it, the more I smelled it, the more I keep going back for it. And this is from a new Discover brand and a new scent discovery from this brand. This is going to be Black Leaf from Barbados and this is called Mr. Pink. Now, the name might throw you off, Mr. Pink, what the hell is that? You know, something from like um, Reservoir Dogs, you know, uh, that uh, Quentin Tarantino movie. This is very powerful. Look at the strip, it's, it's, you know, it's staining the strip in yellow. So needless to say, this is going to be a very powerful vanilla-based scent. The vanilla here is predominant in a very animalistic way. It's a smoky vanilla with cotton candy, a butter accord. Yes, butter, you heard it right. It's very, very intrinsic, very mesmerizing. It's one of those scents that you just can't get enough. Like you keep, if you're wearing it, you're gonna keep trying to smell yourself and people are gonna be like, wow. It's one of those intoxicating aromas. I'm in love with this stuff. It's one of my favorite discoveries of the year. The smoky animalistic nuance might throw you off, but just wait a few minutes as that cotton candy and buttery kind of accords, you know, take place. This gets sweeter, creamier, and just mesmerizing. The bottles look amazing also. It's like a chipped uh, stone, you know, which is a, a cliff that they have in Barbados. I'm gonna get more into this brand as we get closer. By the way, this is one of the feature brands at Scent Explore 2022, amongst other 49 plus. We're talking about 50 plus niche brands, guys. Check out details at scentexplore.com. It's the biggest convention in the Americas when it comes to niche perfumery. It's virtual and in person. We're back in person. We're talking thousands of people to join us. Don't delay, get your Scent Explore gift bags. This year, it's going to be the biggest one yet. You know, we're gonna have samples for most of the brands, if not all the, bland, the brands. Uh, we're gonna start shipping those out very soon. Uh, so it is limited for the sample bags. So it's first come, first serve. Guys, go check it out. Join us, either virtual, in person. I guarantee you're gonna have a great time. If you were there in 2019 or 20 or 21 in the virtual editions, you know that it's all things niche perfume. It's like the Disney world of fragrances. And I truly hope to see you guys in person December 2nd and 3rd or virtual. It's gonna be one of those events that's just, you know, it's gonna be memories created and emotions for years to come. Last but not least, guys, this is the highlight of this haul and my favorite discoveries of last month or this month. I mean, it's still technically, no, it's not because, oh yeah, it is. It is technically this month because today is the 28th of October, but this particular fragrance blew my mind and I wanted to smell it from the get-go because I'm a huge fan of the band. The band being Black Sabbath, which is my one of my favorite bands of all time, top 10 for sure. Uh, my wife's not a big fan, it's like heavy rock, but I particularly love the singing of Ozzy Osbourne and of course the guitar playing of Tommy Iommi. And this is a collaboration between Serjoff and Tommy Iommi. This is the Monkey Special Edition. There is a crystal edition of this bottle, which is a little bit more expensive and more limited, but this here is more affordable, more attainable and easier to find. Needless to say, guys, the smell is the same. Beastly sprayers. My gosh, guys, this is going to be boozy, tobacco, leather, spices, all the ingredients that I love in perfumery, especially at this time of the year, fall and winter, right here, guys. Just like the, the, you know, the notes that Tommy Iommi played in songs from Black Sabbath were, were hard rock, deep, heavy. This is going to be a deep, heavy, long lasting, powerful, boozy, smoky, leathery, incredible fragrance, guys. I'm in love with this. I'm gonna be rocking this stuff. Um, Sadly, you know, I didn't get this in time to experience more of this fragrance to have it in my top niche of the year, you know, for the fall, but it's definitely going to make an appearance in my top winter of 2022. Guys, stay tuned, this stuff amazing. I'm gonna be talking about this a lot because I love this stuff. Serjoff, Iomi, incredible juice right here. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. The top favorite discoveries of 2022, September that is. Stay tuned for other videos to come, of course. 
Keep it right here for you know fragrance news. You know I'm your guy, I keep you informed. And of course, guys, if you love niche perfumery, don't forget to check out scentexplore.com. If you haven't been there, it's one of a kind events, whether virtual or in person, it's gonna be a great niche experience, I promise you. As always guys, I'll see you right here with another video very soon. Show your support, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and hit the bell so you get these videos straight into your feed. See you soon.